can edit it as well, so right. you can start recording whatever you that's, want. That's great, I'm going. Okay. Right, so recap me on the story. Um, oh, so, look, when I do it at that angle, now I can actually see your face. It's very close to my face. It's not. Oh, okay. It looks very close to my face. So, basically, right, yes. I, no, I'm doing it now. Recap me on the story, right, so this is the story of, of Barry. Yeah, basically, right, we, we're sat in the car and we're on the way to work. I and, didn't know that. And, I just want to know well, about the story. Look, <laughs> people need background. Okay. Okay? So just shush. Yeah, go on. Sorry. So, basically, I've came up with a story about Barry, the monkey. Barry's a monkey. Yeah. Barry's a monkey and... Barry... <laughs> Come on. Barry's a monkey, right? <laughs> Right. And he used to work for like what monkey mafia? In Barry, the jungle. yeah, Barry used to work for the monkey mob, which is run by Ran, run, Ran, by a monkey called Paolo, yeah. who's a Cuban monkey. Yeah, as they all are. Barry was the fall guy. Barry so. was the fall guy. So when a job went wrong, Barry took the blame and went into monkey prison leaving Paolo out and about to carry on with their work. Barry didn't want to do that. But one day, yeah, one day there was this job where they had to steal bananas from a banana farm. Yeah. And, I mean, I guess I'm kind of putting it out there that bananas are like drugs. In well, a way. it's just, it's food, isn't it? You know, the, yeah, they but that is, it's, food. Yeah, but it's so like... You're getting off topic now. Yeah, but it could be like Scarface. Getting off, no, now you're getting off topic. Barry, so Barry is is has a phobia of berries, right? And so that's kind of part of Barry's raison d'etre, really, isn't it? Barry's like a fall guy in the mob. He works for Paolo. His last job was to steal bananas from a banana farm. And he doesn't want to do that because he figures I can just get off and just live the good life with all these bananas. Never have to look at another berry ever. ever yeah, again. this 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 job that they go on is quite yeah. simplistic, and Barry realizes because Barry's a, a bit of a buffoon, you know, and he realizes while he's on this job that you know what? Actually, I don't want to be taking the slack for Paolo, and there's all these bananas, and do you know what? I'm just gonna take them. So Barry, leave, Barry leaves all the bananas, right? So Barry leaves with all these bananas. Yeah. And he ends up living in a zoo. Yeah. And he's getting... We don't know what zoo, though, right? We, we, don't, we don't know what zoo yet, but, okay. you know, that's... It's not important. Okay. And then, you know, he's living the good life. And the zookeeper... This is a nice bit of background for everyone. And this is where the emotion... Comes this into is the where story. we start to feel for Barry. We right? feel for so Barry. We've got to connect with him on some level, right? The, yeah, this is it. We yeah. feel yeah. for him, right? Basically, Barry can't have anything but bananas to eat. Barry has PT PTSD. Over berries. Over because berries. Was a little, because this is what we're talking about. Right, whose story is it? We're just talking about when he was a little kid. When Barry was little, he went out one day in the jungle, you know, playing yeah. and looking for bits of food and stuff. And Barry ate a berry. Where's this pointing at? And oh, it's like your crotch. Come on, camera lady. Woo! And uh, <laughs> they don't want to see that much. Or do they? Um, and he ate a berry and it made him really sick. Yeah. And ever since then, you know, because Barry's actually allergic to berries. Yeah. And he didn't know because he was only little. Yeah. And ever since then, he's terrified of berries. And he wakes up in the middle of the night in cold sweats. And he has nightmares of massive yeah, so berries. Barry's got problems. Yeah. So, yeah, he's, he's got Skip issues. Over that. We know he's got problems. I'm trying to build the emotion. So, Barry did a job. He ran off with all the bananas. Barry's now living the good life in a zoo. No berries, because he's been able to communicate with the zookeeper that he doesn't like berries. He's got a phobia of berries. Yeah. Um, or he's allergic to berries or whatever. Yeah. So he's living the good life. He's almost like in witness protection. Yeah. What is Paolo doing? Because Paolo's, 
probably sat back in the jungle, like, like with his mafia voice, like, where, where is the bananas? Bring me big the bananas. So like, what's Right, now what's I Paolo's said, story? hang on, I said that he's Cuban. That was, well, I don't know how to do a Cuban accent, so he was more a little bit like Goodfellas. Well, that just changes the whole dynamic. Well, that's, we, we, we can iron out those details. So anyway, what is Paolo up to in this story? Paolo is now, you know, powered yeah, by yeah. revenge. He's fueled, he's rage filled it's, revenge. Because what ended up happening was he didn't get any of his bananas. So, Barry Barry disappeared off, off the face of the earth yeah. with all of his bananas. Yeah. The job went, you know, pairs up. Yeah, okay. Bananas up. Bananas up. Yeah, with bananas up. So, so Paolo. Is Paolo for the looking past for Barry? Or? Yes, of course he is. Okay. For the past couple of years, Paolo has made it his, you know, big mission in life to find him, how is, to how find is he, Barry. How is he doing that? Because he's sent out his scouts. He's, okay? got, he's got monkey scouts. He's got monkey scouts and they've been, what are you laughing for? He's got monkey scouts yeah. and they've been going off to find information for him. What, at, at like some of different them, zoos? Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay. Right? So some of them have deliberately got themselves in different zoos and then they oh, scope out okay. who's in that zoo. Okay, I like that. So they're, they've They've intentionally got themselves put into captivity. Yeah. Just to look for Barry. Yeah. Okay. That's good. And then, where, where does the story go from here? Barry's living the good life. Paolo's filled with banana fueled rage. Oh my god, I just got it. So, one of Paolo's scouts, who's a female, called yeah. uh, Ramona. Uh, Ramona. That's a good name. Yeah, well done. Ramona gets sent to the zoo where Barry actually is. Okay. And then Barry and Ramona fall in love. Oh! So she also betrays Paolo. Yeah. Wow. Intrigue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, I mean, how does, how does like, what's your act three for your story? How does it end? Um, so, you know, I... They've fallen in love. Paolo realises that, that she must have found Barry because Ramona's not checked back in. Ramona doesn't check back in. Yeah. So Paolo's like, right, something's up there. So then Paolo decides to visit that zoo himself. Oh. So he visits, imagine it, it's dark, the zoo's closed, Barry's cuddled up with Ramona in their ape shed. Paolo, what, Paolo gets introduced to the zoo by the zookeeper or does he just break in? No. <laughs> Just he climbs breaks over in. a wall or Duh. something. It's Paolo, for God's sake. So, so Paolo just climbs over a wall. He climbs over the wall. How does he get into the monkey enclosure? Surrounded by water, aren't they, in zoos? Yeah. Monkeys don't like water. Paolo does. Does he make a little Paolo boat? Paolo can swim. Does he make a little banana skin boat, maybe? No, because that's stupid. Um, so Paolo can swim. He's, Paolo can swim. He's the Paolo first monkey not to be afraid of water. Yeah, he loves okay. it. He's like, look at that water. I love it. Gonna get in there. I mean, that's a little bit tenuous. But Why? I mean, it's a kid's story, so they'll probably believe it. All right. Anyway, so this, Paolo's this, not afraid I don't of water. Think, I, don't, I think this story's taken on a whole new. So Paolo just wades across the water. Yeah, but Paolo's got a knife on him as well. He's got a knife on him. Yeah. Where did he get the knife? It's a knife that's made out of wood that he made himself. For the couple okay. of years he's been searching for Barry, he's been sat there every night while smoking Carving a fag. Carving a knife. Carving a knife. With Barry's name on it. Yeah. And then, so act three is just your big showdown in the monkey enclosure. Yeah. Between Paolo and Barry. Yeah. Okay, and then what happens at the end? Does, I mean, Barry's got to win, right, surely? Ramona dies. Ram what? Ramona dies? <laughs> Paolo kills Ramona, he slits her throat. Wow. In front of Barry. Shit. I mean, how does Barry... I'm thinking Game of Thrones. How does Barry Red get Wedding over style. it? How does Barry get over that? He doesn't. Barry ends up like the Punisher. So he goes and, what, he kills Paolo? Yeah, because he, he watches Paolo slit Ramona's God, I feel throat. sorry for the poor zookeeper who's going to go into the zoo the next morning. <laughs> Just gonna feed the oh my god, there's <laughs> blood everywhere, banana skins. There's a monkey with a knife. It's like he's dead, she's dead. 
where's Barry? Is Barry left? And then Barry leaves. But is Bar how does Barry leave? Barry just leaves. Ow! Monkeys are afraid of water. Is there a, is a second monkey that's not afraid of water? <laughs> because of all the trauma he's just gone through. He's like, do you know what? He could I, use I, a not... knife to like jimmy his way out the enclosure door. <laughs> and then and, start and again, I guess. After, well, he turns like into the Punisher, so now he, he goes, goes on with him. Paolo's cronies. Yeah, he'll, he'll kill every single one that was anything to do with Paolo. And then it turns out Paolo was just one of the tier echelon members oh, yeah, of he's, the Monkey he, yeah, Mafia. He's not, he's, Paolo's not the big chief. He's not Don Monkeyoni. No. Um, and then that. See, that's that's good. That's that's sequel material. That yeah. spins the sequel. Yeah. Because then he's going after a higher echelon of monkey now. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Yeah. So you're going to write this up. Yeah. And what? We're going to take it to a publisher. I mean, yeah, you know. I mean, it's solid, solid gold, surely. I mean, these guys will probably agree. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, leave leave your comments and. Yeah. Well, let us know what you think of. Well, I mean, what's what are we going to call it? The monkey father? Really? The monkey. It's got a nice monkey. No, I think. Monkey business? Right, oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> I think we should leave it up to the subscribers to pick the name. Alright, let us know what you think you want that story to be called. Um, there's your story Barry the monkey. It's got love, it's got drama, it's got intrigue, it's got death. gang warfare, death, um, swimming monkeys. I mean, who. I'll go to I'll go to see the swimming monkeys alone. So let us know what you want it to be called. Um, you know, as as most things go, it'll probably be a book first, and then someone will you know like Spielberg will probably want to make it into a film. Maybe, I don't know if maybe I'd maybe James want... Cameron because he's yeah. good with CGI these days. Yeah, well, I don't think I'd want Spielberg doing it. Avatar three could be about Barry the monkey. Yeah. Just saying, could yeah. be an Avatarian monkey, yeah. a Navi monkey. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Barry the monkey. Let us know what you want it to be called, I guess. Right, we're gonna go now, because we're nearly at work. We're gonna go. See you later.